Hey, how's it going guys? It's Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 7 of Cave Factory. And today, before we get started, I went ahead and I updated quite a lot of mods and added a few things into the pack. And I originally said I was going to keep this as normal as possible, you know, keep it as the mod author intended, but I kind of got fed up um, with a few things, right? Not really the mods being out of date, but... Things like the copper ore being wrong and tinkers. So you would get tinkers copper ore and you'd have create copper ore. And sooner or later we might get immersive engineering copper ore. Well, no longer. I actually took some time and fixed that issue. We only have one copper ingot. We only have one silver ingot. And there's a few other things, you know, I've messed with. I also did fix the um, sorting mod thing i've did remove quark uh well not really i didn't remove quark i removed some of its features the two buttons that are up here are completely gone those were quark features there's a search function and a filter for a um sorting function i've both set those to disabled um so we don't have that and this doesn't have the weird filtering icon and you know thing over here anymore so we're good on that front and now we have the ability to make create blocks of copper. Let me actually quickly turn off the advanced tooltips. And yeah, we have a few things kind of sorted. Also, I found out pretty colors. Look at this. This looks pretty cool. So this actually tells you a little bit of information about the block you're looking at. Right? So this tells you, hey, this is facing that way. Like facing the way you're looking. And if you look at this one, the same thing. Um, and it'll actually kind of tell you the rotation a little bit. Kind of a little bit easier to, you know, see. Um, but this actually tells you what these are connected to. So that's connected to that, that, that. The further you look, you'll get back here. And it's pretty cool. Just something I accidentally discovered. I didn't actually know it was in the pack. I pressed F3 and H, and I accidentally pressed F3 twice. And it caused that to appear. So, I updated Blood Magic. I updated Refined Storage and removed a mod called Refined Storage Curios. Um, which basically made refined storage have the ability to add its terminals or the wireless grids into your curio slots, which are these. Um, that was no longer needed because refined storage adds that by default now, which is pretty cool to know. Um, and yeah, kind of just, I, after that, I kind of worried about, you know, getting all of this stuff up and going. And for some reason now in this version of blood magic, you can actually sacrifice yourself to grow these. Not 100% sure why. But there is actually a bigger area as well. Um, so that's pretty cool to know. I probably could disable that. I'm not going to mess with it though because whatever. Um, so we've got 146 in here. I did kind of overkill it a little bit, but that's fine. So we can now move on to getting... The alchemical reaction chamber, which needs stone, imbued slates, master blood orb, and a furnace. Is that right? The furnace? Okay. Um, I don't think I have any imbued slates, but I could grab a couple. Currently down here, I just have my blood orb sitting in here. Oh, we're at like 67,000, so that's fine. Um, let's fill up the tank a little bit here. Oh, that zombie's got, like, diamond leggings and stuff on. Kind of hard to kill. Alrighty, so let's get these two things here. So, let's we'll throw that first one in there. I also did make a secondary backpack, by the way. That's this one. I just threw the tools in here. And then the one on my back that you can actually see here is the one that is actually going to be used for ores. Um, instead of doing two dank storages, um, I'm actually just using this one. And this doesn't have all of the filtering things yet. I didn't add all the ores because I actually smelted them and crushed them before I remembered. Also, that zombie dropped shiny pants, so I'm wearing shiny pants. Okay, and this should be done. And we can't go past imbued because we don't have the next tier of altar, so that is another thing. Okay, there's another imbued slate, and we should have everything up here to make 
the rest of this stuff, right? So let's see. Um, the stone. And then the iron, which we actually have a couple iron blocks in here. And then a furnace. I think that's everything. Okay, that is everything. And then we need this, this thing, which does require 30 will, but you need 350 maximum. So we need a hell fire forge. All right, so let's see here. So let's grab that. I think that was stone. Let's look at hellfire. Um, I also did know there is like several different things like plates and sheets and stuff. Sheets, I believe, are from Create and plates are from Immersive Engineering. I might mess with those if they become an issue, but I didn't really see that as an issue currently. So I'm not going to mess with it just yet. I'm trying not to mess with everything. Um, trying to keep the mod pack somewhat to its original concepts, but at the same time, there are some things that need to be altered. And also the last time this actually was updated was in December of 2021. So I don't fully know why there's not a lot of changes and like quality of life improvements, but I don't know. It's okay at the end of the day. So Hellfire Forge, and then we need Alabaster, so stone, shears, another imbued slate, and what else was that? Iron ingot, okay. So we'll do iron ingot, grab three of those so we can get a pair of shears, a piece of stone. Okay, so throw that in there, that in there, that in there. And then the imbued slate. So first off, I completely forgot about this. We do need to get a petty Tataric gem. All right, so we need... What was that? I pressed U on this. And that's right here. So let's mark that. So gold, redstone, lapis. And then glass. All right. Let's pull this out. So here, 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 and here. No, here, and this. You do need demon will. And if you don't know how to get demon will and you don't have any... Um, you actually use soul snares, I think is what they're called. You throw these at a mob, and then you proceed to kill it within a time frame, and you'll get a demonic will. Um, I kind of skipped that step because I did pick up some demon will out of the dungeon. So that allows me to actually, you know, go past that a little bit, which is awesome. And what you can do with this is you can actually drop the demon will, pick it up, and it'll actually go inside of the Tataric gem. So the 25 on here, drop that, and that'll go into here. Cool. So this basically is where you store your demon will, and we will need actually a little bit more. So the lesser Tataric gem. So let's go for this, 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 and this again. Let's make a second one. Okay, throw that in there. The reason we need a second one is because we need a second one to actually craft the second tier. So this will actually go up here. And then we can mark the lesser Tatarg gem. Each one of these has a different capacity it can hold, by the way. That's why um, we need the different ones. So we actually can hold the amount of will to actually make a Signer Retreat. Re whatever. Yeah, Reverter. Okay. Because this actually needs a 350 will, and then it'll only take 30. So you need a lot of will to actually be able to get anywhere, right? And if we look at the book, you can see that the Tataric gems, don't know why there's lightning, um, the Tataric gems, so the lesser will hold 256, this one will hold 1,000, 24. So yeah, we need to get to common. All right. So that's okay. Um, and then I think I have everything or was there a diamond involved? There was a diamond involved. Okay. So that, that, and that, 
And then what was the cost? 60 and 20. Okay, so we don't have 60 and 20. So let's quickly actually, before I forget, um, there is a sword in blood magic that is actually really useful. And this is what we're going to get real quick. Uh, so we need an iron sword. All right. So the iron sword will then become something greater. And it might use this Tataric gem, I think. So we might need to make another one, which is fine. All right, let's take this petty Tataric gem. And let's fill it. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here's the next tier, which is the lesser. Then the lesser then needs to become the... What does that need to become? Do, do, do. We could just look up gem real quick here. Be easier. So we need a common... All right, so it looks like we need another one of these, actually. All righty, so let's craft this up here. I'm just going to throw this lesser Tataric gem in here and not get anywhere. Why is that? 240. Okay. All righty, so this is a common Tataric gem. I think this is the last tier we really need for now, at least. And what you can do is you can actually take this lesser Tataric gem and you can just right click and it'll actually input it into another one, which is the common. So now we have 200 almost in here. And we need to get the 350, so I will be back whenever we have 350 to make the reverter thing to get the weak blood orb, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so we've got the reverter being made here. There we go. And that is another quest complete, I do believe. No. Alrighty, so we have this, the alchemical reaction chamber. Then we have the Sanguine Reverter. And then we need one of these. I do believe it is just one. We can then throw it in here. That should make this, which is the Weak Blood Shard. Okay, and these quests are not completing. It is probably because I did not complete these in order. Or did not claim them in order, I'm assuming. No, I need to make soul snares. Okay, this is really annoying and confusing. Hold on. Let me get a piece of string. Let me do this real quick. We'll, we'll complete the quest. We might as well. And we basically complete everything in one fell swoop here. So there's that. Okay, soul snare. String. That that actually looting might be a pretty good idea okay and then we need to go grab the other gem i didn't realize that there were you know quests that needed to be completed beforehand but that's fine okay and then in here we have the other one put that back all right so lesser which is sweeping edge tartaric gem unbreaking Lava Crystal. We have all of the quests complete up to that point so far. This is kind of what we're looking for here. So we need large bloodstone bricks. And that is just stone and any type of weak blood shard here. So that's cool. <clears throat> At tier five or tier four, you can finally automate life essence. Remember to upgrade your blank runes so they're useful. Yeah, that's going to be fun. All right, then we also do have, like, different tiers of crystals as well. That is pretty interesting. I don't even know what that is. Demon crystallizer, demon crucible. So we're getting into some weird stuff here, which is kind of cool. We can actually start getting to dusk, which is something that we're basically trying to get to. So that is nifty. We can throw this in here and just keep it in there. All right, let's grab one of these. Okay, and then we can actually just make normal bricks. 
And then we need some blank ritual stones. Where are my blank slates? And then I'll grab my stone out. That's not what I meant to do. That's a lot of stone that I don't need. All right. And then we'll do blank rune. Okay, and then we can just do this. And we need 28. So we need a little bit more stone in here. Don't know how much more, but we'll see. Okay, one more set. Perfect. All right, and then grab all of those. So I want to make augmented runes before I actually do anything, right? The augmented runes... It didn't actually register those. Okay, let me just do this again then. Wait, what? Does that get used? Okay, if that gets used, that's fine. I just didn't know if it got used. We'll have to check that again here. So let's see, so if we throw this in here, We'll get another weak blood shard. I assume that this gets used. If it, which if it does, it's fine. Okay, yeah, it gets used. All right. But I want the bricks. I think the bricks will work. So I think we're good there. So what I want to do is I actually want to get augmented capacity runes. I think that sounds like a pretty decent idea. It does require a master blood orb, which is the tier four. So maybe we hold off on that for now. Um, we could probably do some self-sacrifice. No, not self-sacrifice, just sacrifice, All right? So let's grab some gold. Right, and then reinforced slates, and then blank rune, and then stone. All right, I think we've got everything here. So it was this. And I don't know how big this is either, so let me actually check that as well real quick. All right. So let's see, so blood altar... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven on each side. Okay, so that means we should make seven of these. Or do we want to make 14? I think we could do 14. And then call it a day. That way we'll be like super efficient. At the end of the day. And then I'll worry about capacity in a little bit here. Alright, so let's actually do this real quick. Where is my book here? Visualize. Click on that. Okay. So we need to go down... A level or two here. And then just kind of carve this out. So then we'll throw self-sacrifice. I think we might actually want to put some runes of the orb on here actually because if we do get the Well of Sacrifice, that ritual, then we'll be able to automate getting just Life Essence in general. So we won't have to come back here and really use it. Then we can actually start getting Lava Production just a little bit better. And all of that fancy jazz. So I think that's what we'll do first. I can't tell if that's the right block. Okay, now, so we'll place that, 
I'll just do cobblestone. Okay. And we'll do self sacrifice. And then here. Do I actually need stone bricks? I don't think I do. I mean, I could run up and grab some. But I don't really think I need that. Yeah, I don't think I do. I think I'm fine. So let's just keep it at this. So cobblestone. All right, and then runes. And we can just carve over here and just blank runes this. All right, and mine up. And then cobblestone. And then more blank runes. Okay, and that is a tier four blood altar completed. Okay, and then we could probably make sure we come down here with the sigil of the blood lamp. Make sure we light this area up actually. And we could carve into this a little bit because there is a little bit of space between the third and fourth tier. So we could have like an outer rim here if we really wanted to. So we can come in here and actually change out these blank runes later. So let's do that real quick. So we're lighting it up down here because I don't want anything spawning and blowing this all up. All right. I can actually grab some stone as well. And cover up the holes that I've made. All righty. And we can just come out here and we're good. All right, so this should be a tier four altar to completion. And that is awesome. Let's add these to the filter. All righty. That's good. Okay, so we have that solved, tier four, and a few more minutes. So let's see, what can we do with a tier four altar, right? So we need dusk. Dusk is one of those things that I actually kind of want to work up to. But then again, we also need the demonic slates, which are imbued with 15,000 LP. This will be expensive. Okay, so let's grab out the Dagger of Sacrifice. Okay, so we're at the Imbued Slate tier. This is kind of why we need the Well of Sacrifice as well, so we don't have to, you know, just completely and utterly be panicked whenever we want to get a Slate of this tier, right? So that's a pretty good uh, thing. So there's one. We have a Demonic Slate. I don't really know why we have redstone links. Okay, so you could do like a wireless transmission, which I don't know if that's useful right now, 100%, but we can look into it sooner or later. Okay, so that is imbued. I'm gonna take that out for a second because I do not have enough LP. Because we need 15,000. So let me get the second one. And then what else do we need? So let's actually clear this out. We then need... The inscription tool, which I believe is just obsidian. No, it's a block of coal. How much is that actually? So 2,000? Let me actually go grab two blocks of coal here. 
I, I assume that's what we really should get real quick as well. All right. We also will probably make the uh, next blood orb probably off camera. Since we don't really need it yet, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to grab it soon. All right, where are we at? So 15,000. Let's grab the imbued slate. Throw it back in here to get a demonic slate. It's not what I meant to do. My bad. Also, I don't really know how much this actually goes up per kill. I haven't really paid attention to that. With all the, the sacrifice runes that we've put on here. So we probably should look at that as well. Okay, so there's that. So what are we at? We are at 2,501. We are at 4,000. So that is a pretty decent number. So I said 2,000. What did I say? 2,501? Okay, so 5,699. Let's see. I'll wait for one more zombie here. 5,699. 5,699 So that's like over a little bit over 1,000, I think. Let's see. So we're currently at 7232. So that was like 1,624. So that's not too bad. Definitely a good thing. Alrighty. So do we have our slates? We have everything other than these coal blocks, which I'm pretty sure we could just toss in here. I don't really have to worry too much about LP for these because they aren't that expensive. Okay, there's two of those. And now we can actually come over here. And quickly add this to a ritual diviner, which I don't have on me because it's in here. And this will be our next step towards the well of sacrifice, well of suffering, well of sacrifice, whatever. We actually get another spawner after doing this one and capture five. Huh. Okay. Drains life from nearby enemies and fills nearby blood altars with life essence. Crack of the Fractured Crystal. I don't actually know what that one is. But here's another one. Automate will crystals and fill five greater Tartaric gems with all variants of will. Look into Crack of Fractured Crystal ritual and resonate all of the faceted crystal rituals. Don't really know what that is. Extra points. Use blood magic routing nodes for that automation. Hmm. I don't know. There's plenty of stuff we can actually get into. But I am actually going to wrap up this episode just a little bit early. Um, we're going to get into plenty of this stuff in the next episode. Um, I think we'll do the Well of Suffering, Sacrifice, whatever it's called. And... Then we probably will take a step back from blood magic. I know there's so much to blood magic, but I don't want to just keep full, going full force to one mod because it will kind of get boring. So I'm kind of going to switch it up. Who knows? Maybe I will do blood magic the entire episode and we'll get pretty far. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think I want to switch it up for a little while because blood magic is kind of getting a little tedious and a little boring. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome. Bye-bye.